Eximan Mining is based in Vancouver. This is our CEO, and as you can see from this slide, he's got a great eye for promising gold projects and how to finance them. I think you've seen slides like this before. It's a CYA disclaimer. You may be having some forward-looking statements here. So Eximan has uh, about 40 million shares out for a market cap of $14 million at at an average price of 35 cents. Um, it trades well, good liquidity. We have a number of projects in southern British Columbia that have been acquired basically uh, through the grapevine. Um, contractors have come to Chris and said, oh, I worked on this project in the past. It's a really good gold project, and it's kind of fallen between the 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 lines and it's uh you know we should really take it on so these projects all have a history of production or really good uh intercepts and right now x-men's focus is on bringing the kenville gold mine into production so the kenville is located in nelson in southeastern bc and it was BC's first gold mine. It produced about 65,000 ounces of gold historically, and several parties have invested in equipment and infrastructure and drilling. In 2009, there was a 43101 resource put out. Uh, this is historic, we're, we're not counting it, but it had 300,000 ounces inferred. Uh, since that time, it's been drilled, uh, for a number of years, and uh, the drilling has, has increased the potential. So right now, we're looking at the potential of developing a mine that's going to produce 125 tons per day at about half ounce per ton. And we're in the stages of upgrading the permit and getting our discharge permit and expect to be in production within months. So the Kenville mine started in 1888. Uh, like I said, it produced 65,000 ounces of gold. This is the historic infrastructure here in the town, right in the town of Nelson. Uh, the water coming out of the mine is very good quality. There's infrastructure in place, uh, buildings, the mill building, mine office building. Um, and the drilling has been done since 2009 uh, and made multiple vein, high-grade vein intercepts south of the mine and west of the mine, and that's where the focus is now. So we're in the midst of starting a new decline to access the western area, a 523-meter decline, and that'll be ultimately extended to 1,200 meters to access the veins south of the mine. The company has the project, has the uh, equipment, mining equipment, purchased through the acquisition, uh, underground scoop tram and loaders and trucks. And on the left, you can see the plan of the decline going in. And uh, it's on the grid, so there's no power generation. It's going to be relatively low cost per ounce. Uh, it's projected at 900 per ounce. Canadian. Uh, you can see the projected decline and the old workings and on the left there all the multiple intercepts south of the mine. We're hoping that we can find enough to start mining a bulk sample west of the mine because there are also intercepts there too. And ultimately the production we're hoping to ship to Greenwood, there's a mill at Greenwood owned by Golden Dawn, and uh, that's a 200 per t ton per day gravity flotation mill that's been sitting since 2008. So we're gonna permit that for custom milling and ship to Kendall or there. So within a year, we should be in gold, producing gold. The water coming out of the Kenville mine is very clean. The, the rock is not acid generating. 
Here's our CEO testing the waters. And we have full engineering rooms and plans and a database and it's all ready to go. And these are all the steps. We've got um, Paul Hughes, who's a professor at UBC, helped uh, design the, the ground control program. There's been environmental work and the permit was done previously. We're just updating it to, that, to this date. So over the next 12 months, we're gonna drive this decline and develop ore. We gotta do 20,000 meters of definition drilling to develop and start with at least a 10,000 bulk, ton bulk sample of hopefully around half ounce per ton. And from the, after that, we'll move on and continue mining. And we're gonna use the profits from that project to finance the exploration of this project, the Brett Epithermal Gold Project. Brett is a really good story. It's uh, been around for a number of years, but it has 186 drill holes into it and multiple high-grade intercepts and also some very large, long, low-grade intercepts. So there's both high-grade bonanza and low-grade bulk tonnage mineable potential here. Uh, it's, the main shear zone is 1,200 meters long, and it has a short adit into it. We're currently permitting to extend the adit and do additional underground diamond drilling. This is a long section of the Brett showing that historical adit and some of the high-grade intercepts. Um, there was a surface sample taken of 300 tons that ran 28 grams per ton. So it, it does have good grade material, at least locally. Uh, this is the adit that's in there. It's been recently reopened and ventilated. Somebody's interpretation of multiple zones of high grade at intersecting faults, I think this is, and we'll be testing those with the underground drill program. And this is just a plan for mining where we, along the main zone and uh, other than the Brett, there we have a number of other projects. This is the Treasure Mountain project, which is optioned off. The optionees pay for us to be the operators and do diamond drilling and exploration work. So this is a polymetallic silver, uh, some gold quartz vein, and uh, copper molly porphyry targets on this property. And this is the... Uh, Greenwood area where the main property is uh, optioned to GGX Gold. This had a seven meter intersection of four ounce per ton last year. And we're, we've been announcing, we've been getting our drill results recently and been announcing more intercepts. So we're building what looks to be a, a good gold vein, one or two on that property. And hopefully that can build to, to the history of milling in Greenwood. And this is a recent acquisition, another historic gold mine, the Amelia Gold Mine. Uh, and it's, uh, it produced 80,000 ounces of gold. And uh, we've acquired more land around that. And that will be probably another property that we look to option off to help finance the Kenville and the Brett projects. And so, this is the Providence mine near Greenwood. That was also a producer, a past producer of silver. It produced about a million and a half ounces of silver. And that's another one that we've been exploring and got a permit for diamond drilling. And this is the mill in Greenwood, the 200 ton per day mill. Uh, it's been sitting since 2008 on care and maintenance. It uh, needs about half a million dollars to get it running again and uh, can be put back into operation in about three months. And the management, Chris, myself, I'm the vice president of exploration for Xmen. I've been involved in small vein type gold mines for a number of years.